was raining and now it's sunny. Let's go into my TBR. And usually I like to read the synopsis to you guys. And then the second one I'm gonna read, that is the shortest synopsis ever. Okay. This is all. <laughs> Bam! Ali and aloha my friends. Welcome to my channel. It is so nice to see you guys. Man, earlier it was raining and now it's sunny. So it is like 1.50 here. 1.50 p.m. here in Hawaii. And I am excited! So today I'm gonna be sharing you my... Not sharing. I'm gonna be showing you my TBR for next month. And I'm gonna really limit on my TBR for next month because I have my summer theme books to read and I haven't even touched one of them. Not even one. And I have five of them to read. Before I show you my summer theme books that I'm gonna read. Let's go into my TBR and let's get on with it. So, do you guys are familiar with this? Yes, so I was supposed to read this, but um, I didn't get to finish it. So, this is on my TBR for next month. And so, this is Bad Apple. And usually, I like to read the synopsis to you guys uh, when I to my TBR. So this one is Bad Apple. One night with him will change her entire life. Between her waitressing job, volunteer work, and college classes, there are never enough hours in magic... magic? What? There are never enough hours in Maggie Riley's day, especially not for a relationship. Luckily, she's the perfect arrangement. A lover she meets three or four times a year, but she shows up at the hotel expecting to hop into a bed with one man. She accidentally ends up with another, Ben Barrett, Hollywood's most nutritious bad boy. Ben, determined to low, uh, lay low after another scandal, just wants some much needed sleep. What he gets is a scorching makeout session with a gorgeous naked redhead. He won't accept her apology, but what he will accept is a place to hide out. And if there's some hot, <clears throat> uh, no string sex involved, why the heck not? But Benson discovers that one week with his sassy bed hopping waitress is definitely not enough. He wants more, a lot more. Now he needs to convince the relationship averse Maggie that a bad boy might be oh so good for her and the best thing that's ever happened to both of them wow. so this is the first this is the first i'm gonna read so don't worry i will read it and then the second one i'm gonna read yes i am continuing the series because i was gonna read something else but then i was very curious of who america is gonna choose so spoiler alert now, at the end of the, uh, of the lead book, the second book, she is gonna fight for, uh, for, for Maxin. So, my curiosity is, in the next book, I wonder if she's gonna, like, see Aspen. Okay? So, I'm curious, so I'm gonna be doing a, kind of like a binge binge read on the series so this one is the one and this is book three the synopsis says the time has come for one winner to be crowned Ooh, who is it gonna be when she was chosen to compete in the selection america never dreamed she would find herself somewhere close to the crown or to prince maxon's heart but as the end of the competition approaches the threats outside the palace walls grow more vicious. America realizes just how much she stands to lose and how hard she'll have to fight for the future she wants. Wow. 
Yeah, so that's what happened at the end of the second book. So now she's gonna fight for Maxin, and I cannot wait to see if she ends up with Maxin or Aston. That's that's like my curiosity right now. I'm like really, really curious of who she's gonna choose. If she doesn't choose Maxin, then she's gonna waste her time staying there. Like she should have just like gone back home. So, and this is the third one. This one is called Happily Ever After. Before they find their happily ever after, Amberly, Maxin, Aspen, and Marley had other stories to tell. What? Where is the synopsis? Is that all the synopsis? That is the short synopsis ever, okay. So I'm very curious. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm Jay. Okay. So, I'm gonna read, read two of this ones this month and then maybe the uh, next month, uh, what's that, in August, I'm gonna read the other, uh, the other series too. Cause I really wanna finish it and see who she ends up with. So that's about it for today for my TBR. And oh wait, before we go, I'm gonna show you my summer theme books to read. Here. Hold on, let me bring it. Oh wait, you know what? I think it's, uh -huh. You know what? I already grabbed it, so I'm just gonna show you guys. I should have like just said go watch, go watch the video. <laughs> so I did a summer theme uh video, so go check it out and maybe like the video. So anyway, this is all of my summer read. This is my summer books to read and like theme wise and I haven't touched any of it. And end of summer is about to be like around the corner. We're going into July and I have not started any of this book. So anyway, so that's my so that's my TBRs and that's my summer theme books to read and that's what I'm going to be doing for next month and like I said, next month I'm going to get into this and then maybe in August I'm going to do, uh, what's that, um, reading on my Kindle. I have to like download some other books but I haven't really gotten to do that so that's what I'm going to do next month. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any book suggestions or recommendations or have you guys read the selection series go down into the comments and comment below and then i will come and read your comments i always read comments and reply to you guys comments and if not reply i'll put it like a little heart so anyway guys my friends thank you so much for coming i hope you guys enjoy this video and my friends stay tuned and i will see you guys soon peace Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving